What's going on guys? Listen, I'm not your regular guy. No, 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 no. I am your motivation guy. That's right. I'm here to motivate you, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. You know, we can only go as far as our thoughts can take us. And many of us have been stuck in situations because we have a lot of negative thinking going on. And being in quarantine, oh my goodness, we are left to our thoughts. So I encourage you guys, listen to some positive, you know, podcasts, you know, maybe read some books, but just do something. Work with your mind because if you want to be great, if you want to be great in this game, if you want to be great in life. Your thoughts need to be positive so you can be successful. Have you ever felt like your current keybinds are holding you back? Listen, we've all been there. And changing them, oh my goodness, that could be so annoying. I mean, even amongst pros, I mean, you know, optimal keybinds are very inconsistent. But in this video, I'm so excited because we're gonna show you the keybinds that are gonna be perfect for you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's about that time, man. Listen, my dog does not eat this candy, by the way, okay? But it's time to sit back, relax, and grab some of my favorite candy. And listen, everybody needs to scream this out right now. It's that bunch of crunch, and let's get this going. You ready? You ready to get this going? He's ready, let's go. But first, what are your current build binds? I feel like most of us use, you know, some variation of the same six keys or so, but I'm curious if there are some unique setups you might have. Let me know in the comments. Also, if you're looking for a place to find teammates or 1v1s, okay, our Discord server is growing faster than ever, guys. You can also suggest, you know, video ideas, share memes, or just chill and talk about Fortnite if you like. We love for you to be a part of that, so feel free to join us using the link below. And we also noticed that 80% of you guys, like, are not subscribed. What's going on, man? Come on, you're missing out. So please help us out and hit that sub bell and notification icon to get notified on all of our latest videos. All right, guys, so first things first, what are optimal keybinds? Okay, so, you know, for those who don't know, optimal keybinds are comfortable to use. You know, they're easy to hit and have a low level of interference with other keys. Your side mouse buttons, you know, F, V, C, Q, E, X, and left shift are all considered to be very optimal. So, you know, let's just say that you have your floor on T. While some might find it comfortable, it's not exactly easy to repeatedly hit, right? Plus, you know, it does cause interference, you know, since you have to lift your finger off D, preventing you from just strafing right until you reset your finger. In that case, something better would be V. You know, most of us are capable of just comfortably hitting that with our left thumb, which we don't use for anything other than jumping. You know, it's nice and a snug, you know, it's easy to press and it doesn't interfere with any other significant action. That makes it a whole lot better to use. But look, okay, there's no one size fits all rule, all right? What's optimal and what isn't, you know, really has a lot to do with how you press your keys. For instance, what if you hit V with your index finger, which is how some people do it. Okay, so if you put your floor on V, you're gonna be going back to the same problems we had with it on T. So in that case, V wouldn't be entirely optimal. Generally, you know, when it comes to optimizing binds, you want your index, middle, and ring finger to always be resting on your movement keys. That leaves your left thumb for a lower row key like, you know, V or C, your pinky finger for left shift, and your right thumb for your side mouse buttons. Okay, but the million dollar question is, drum roll please, do optimal binds actually matter? Well, yes and no. Because in theory, you know, they definitely help and can lead to things like more efficient building and, you know, a few wrong key mistakes. I get it. On the other hand, the positive effect seems to be minimum and different, you know, for any one of us out there. For instance, consider these binds, all right? F for wall, G for floor, T for stairs, F4 for roof, and R for edit. Okay, so try hitting those on your keyboard right now. While some are close by and easy to hit, there's still plenty of interference since you're hitting every single key with your index finger. But here's the kicker. All right, do you know who uses those binds? Mr. Savage. Yeah, that's right. One of the best solo players in the world, renowned for his mechanics, uses non-optimal binds. And while Savage has made recent efforts to better them, he's still nowhere near what most people would consider a clean setup. And that's part of the point I'm trying to make. Even at the highest extremes, guys, of building and editing, it seems like you don't need every finger freed up and available at all times. You know, you can just have a non-optimal setup and still push it to the level of Mr. Savage. Well, at least he can. But, you know, he's not the only pro to think of that way, all right? A year ago, Booga qualified for the World Cup with X, C, V, and F for his builds, and G for his edit pressing every single key with his index finger. And this was at a time when every pro knew about optimal binds. 
Yet Booga made the decision to stick with what he was comfortable with. Obviously, you know, a ton has changed since then and now, even Booga's made the swap to a fully optimized keybind setup. So, do they matter? Well, overall, the benefits might be minimum, but we still think it's worth it to switch to, you know, at least some form of an optimal layout. Okay, so how do you go about finding keybinds that are gonna work for you? Good question. To do that, there's no better example than Booga. Okay, so a few months ago, he finally made the switch to optimal keybinds. But it wasn't just like a quick switch, all right? In February, he started off by identifying which of his keybinds he found to be a problem. For instance, his edit was G, which, while not terrible, is slightly far away for, you know, how commonly pressed it is. That distance can lead to slower edits and more of a delay in his movements. Now, F, on the other hand, is top notch for editing, right? But Booga wasn't using it for his roof, AKA, you know, the least used piece. So he switched his roof to left shift, freeing up F for his edit. Still, by April, guys, like, Booga wasn't even happy. He spent a ton of time practicing, and with builds remaining on X, C, and V, his movement while building wasn't as fluid as he wanted it to be. So, he made some more changes. This time, putting his wall on his top mouse button and his ramp on the bottom. With that, he put his floor on C and found that his movement became more streamlined almost to the point of being like 100% efficient. Plus, it allowed him to strafe left and right while taking walls, which can often be the difference when W King. So we're trying to say that Booga took it one or two binds at a time, man. Like he didn't switch over every setting overnight, but instead he pinpointed and fixed areas he thought he could make more efficient right away. The more he practiced, you know, the more fixes he made until he eventually arrived at what most considered to be the most optimal setup possible. And look, we're not saying like to use Booga's binds. Like if you want to try them out, go ahead. But you know, changing everything at once might be too dramatic. So you got to ask yourself this question, guys. Like what keys bother me the most? You likely know the answer already. But if you don't, I encourage you guys, spend some time in creative and just really think about it. Like, you know, are any of your commonly used binds far away from WASD? Do they interrupt your movement? You know, are they too close to each other? And, you know, therefore, you know, prone to wrong key mistakes? Ask yourself these questions and remember what the typical best key binds are. Side mouse buttons, you know, F, V, C, Q, E, X, and left shift. Then, as you make changes, test them out in creative. You know, run drills like, you know, cone floor edits, you know, triple edits, side jumps you know, Mongo Classic, Straight Tunnels, and so on and so on, right? You might notice that you're a worse builder at first, but that's just the part of the adjustment period. All right, guys, so we've been talking about build and edit keys this entire time, but what about other binds like your loadout, your interact button, opening inventory, and so on and so on? Well, that's where the idea of optimal binds starts to really, really not matter as much. Okay, so just think about it like this, all right? If the action isn't important for combat, having it on an optimal key won't make much of a difference. Some pros will still, you know, squeeze out every bit of optimization. For instance, like some hate having two as one of their loadout keys, since you have to lift your finger off W to press it. Or some have trouble hitting five and six, so they replace them with something closer to WASD. Either way, you know, you're generally not swapping weapons rapidly, so there's nothing wrong with sticking to the default. Then there's the scroll wheel. Okay, so you can utilize that in a couple of ways. One is obviously, you know, scroll wheel edit resets, which I'm sure most of us, you know, use already. If you don't, set your secondary building edit and reset building edit binds to the same scroll wheel direction, either up or down. Now you can just look at a build, scroll and reset it. Yeah, that's easy. Also, you can set the other scroll direction to your interact function. Some players do this like Tfue, for example, like so they can just free up their keybinds. Plus, it makes fighting for chess easier since scrolling once is really the equivalent of like spamming E like 10 times. Just make sure to turn on tap to search in your game settings if you're going to make the switch. Still, with all this talk about optimal binds, there are some concerns you might have, all right? Like, what if you don't have side mouse buttons? Well, honestly, I wouldn't really worry about that much. I mean, just look at clicks. He has default weapon binds, G for edit, and F, X, Q, V for his builds. No mouse binds at all. You've seen him play, right? <laughs> He's easily like one of the most cracked builders in the world. So while mouse binds might help, they're really by no means necessary. Also, what about left shift? You know, there are a couple of concerns there, right? Like first, you might still be using it to sprint. If you are, do yourself a huge favor and just enable sprint by default, all right? It's a must-have setting with zero downsides. So start using this, guys, ASAP. And second, you know, the pinky finger is our weakest digit, right? So a lot of us have, 
you know, a comfort problem hitting shift. I suggest, you know, still giving it a shot for your cone or something else that isn't used too often. But if it does bother you, don't use it, guys. Simple as that, really. You're just really better off just using something slightly less optimal as long as you find it more comfortable to press. Because in the end, that's what matters the most. So bottom line, should you switch your key binds? If you notice yourself continually botching your bills and just dying a horrible death, then absolutely, please do it immediately. Yes, I'm talking to you. Yes, you, you with the hat. No, not you, the other guy, yes. You should make the move to optimal key binds, man, like immediately. And even if you don't, you should still consider it, for sure. You know, pros out there switch all the time and they have way, way, way more at stake than you and I do, right? But you know what? They realize the importance of having more optimal binds. Even if it makes a week or two of subpar play, they'll still swap. And while they might stick, you know, with the building or two that isn't optimal, that's fine. Again, you know, everything really comes down to preference. Our keyboard layouts, you know, how we press our keys, you know, whether we like mouse buttons and so on. And at the end of the day, finding key binds that work for you is a process that you got to work on yourself. Practice drills and creative guys, find the areas where you're struggling and just come up with solutions. Remember the optimal keys you want to be using. You should find them more comfortable in general, but if you don't, staying away from a key here and there isn't going to make much of a difference overall. All right, guys, once again, this is your motivation guy. That's right. Your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. Make sure to connect with me on my Insta at your motivation guy. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, yo, leave them in the comments. Remember to like and subscribe for more tips and tricks. And don't forget to join our new Discord server in the description. All right, we'll see you soon. Peace.